Trump might want the government to shut down permanently because Robert Mueller is closing in. Early Friday morning, the FBI raided the home of Trump confidant and rival candy maker hell-bent on stealing the recipe for the gobstopper, <laughs> Roger Stone. Stone was arrested in Fort Lauderdale, but they also raided his New York residence up in Harlem. It was easy to find because it's the neighborhood's only evil lair. <laughs> There's... It's got a volcano. There's a volcano in Harlem. I didn't know that. There's speculation that the FBI's true target was not Mr. Stone himself, but his electronic devices. Yes, they went after everything. His computers, his phones, the umbrella he uses to defeat Batman. <laughs> Yeah, we gotta, we're gonna run out of these. All in one night. There are too many good ones. Gonna, it's too many. At the heart of the indictment is Stone's relationship with WikiLeaks. You see, in July of 2016, WikiLeaks released their first batch of stolen Democratic emails. Trump wasn't doing well in the polls. So a senior campaign official was directed by an unnamed person to contact Mr. Stone about additional WikiLeaks releases that might damage the Clinton campaign. So they knew there were more emails hacked by the Russians before they were released. If only there was some visual metaphor to describe what this means. Hey, don't look at me. I'm just an innocent gun who is smoking. Oh, 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 oh guilty. Another, another shouldn't, shouldn't smoke. Very, do not smoke, kids. Don't smoke. Please, Don't put it in your do mouth. not let your smoke, your gun smoke. It's bad for it. No. Another count of the indictment charges Stone with witness tampering. Specifically, New York radio host and unfrozen caveman lawyer <laughs> Randy Credico. Credico was subpoenaed to testify before Congress, and according to the indictment, Stone told Credico he should do a Frank Pentangeli before the House committee, a reference to a godfather character who lies to Congress about his interactions with the mafia. Quick tip, if you're referencing the godfather, you're probably not the good guy. <laughs> okay? That... <laughs> that... <laughs> that... <laughs> that's like going to a restaurant and saying, I'll take the Hannibal Lecter with a nice Chianti. <laughs> When Credico refused to lie, Stone sent him an email where he did his own impression of a mobster. You are a rat, a stoolie. You backstab your friends, run your mouth. My lawyers are dying to rip you to shreds. Stone then threatened to take that dog away from you. And I'm being told we have footage of Stone making the threat. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. <laughs> wow. That's actual footage, son. Actual footage. Trump's right. It really is a witch hunt. <laughs> By the early afternoon, Stone was released on $250,000 bond, and he held an impromptu press conference on the courthouse steps, and he didn't even mind being booed. Thank you. Thank you very much. As I have always said, the only thing worse than being talked about is not being talked about. Wow, he really needs attention. It reminds me of the patriot Nathan Hale, who so famously said, I regret that I have but one life to lose for this sweet, sweet publicity. I'm famous, biatch! <laughs> that he is. It's true. So wow. famous. Wow. He's known. Did not need that kind of language, though. No. Did not need you that kind of language. You have to use that kind of language. Biatch. What? Dirty. Ben Stone went after the FBI. This morning, uh, at the crack of dawn, 29 FBI agents arrived at my home with 17 vehicles with their lights flashing. They terrorized my wife, my dogs, uh, although I must say the FBI agents were extraordinarily courteous. Yes, they terrorized his wife and dogs with extraordinary courtesy. <laughs> Pardon me, madame. Would you mind terribly getting your filthy hands in the air? 
Now, with your permission, I am going to curb stomp your labradoodle. <laughs> I apologize. As he left, Stone bid a fond farewell by doing his best impression of Richard Nixon. <laughs> ah, yes. Ah, yes, impersonating Richard Nixon, the universal sign for I'm innocent. <laughs> then... Then... <laughs> Nixon said... Then he shouted helter-skelter, and his friend A.C. drove him away in a white Bronco. <laughs> true story. Oh, Based on a true story. Oh, yeah, I remember. I a young Stone child. claims he was an advisor to the Nixon campaign, uh, and he admires the former president so much that he has a tattoo of Nixon on his back, not pictured where he has one of Trump. <laughs> Let's put it this way. Taint on his back. 